Um, good morning, uh, all of our Atlas Pro Plus contractors and our uh, valued Asphalt Life con uh, family. And happy Wednesday, happy November. It's crazy. I can't believe we are literally a month away from the end of the year. This is blowing my mind. Um, but hey guys, welcome in. I know that you guys are all get jumping in here. We've got some exciting stuff to talk about today. If you haven't heard, we have partnered with NRCA to present the training for roof application careers um, portal and module training. And this is so exciting because really NRCA is giving us the opportunity to lend top notch, their top notch expertise to our contractor network. And really people that are um, onboarding with, with um, roofing and may not know the ins and outs of roofing. Um, I'll tell you a funny story a little later, but you know, this training is just phenomenal. And so I'm so excited that you, our contractors are on. Go ahead, if you're on today, you can hear me. That is a good thing. I wanna make sure you can hear us loud and clear. So go ahead and put something in the chat. Good morning. Hello, Tiara. Um, let me know where you're calling in from or phoning in from. Chatting is the best way to communicate with us this morning. Um, and I am here for it. I'm so excited. I'm fired up um, to have um, Amy and John on from NRCA. Um, good morning, guys. Hello. Hi. I think I can hear you good, Amy and John. Yeah, well, we're excited to be here. Um, always love doing doing webinars with you, Tiara, and for your audience. <laughs> yes. I'm here too. We're good to go. Yeah. Hello from Shane at Vertex at DFW. Thanks for joining. Glad that you're on. Hey, John. Um, I see Laura Manning is on. Um, Michelle Maddox is on. Good morning, guys, and the list is going up and up. So I'm excited that you guys are on. And again, if you are not um, uh, online and you know some of your team that's not online, send them a quick chat, send them a quick text with the info to get registered and jump in here because today's webinar, we are talking about training and um, it's getting cold out there. I don't know if anybody noticed, but in Atlanta, I think it was a freeze warning in effect this morning, Amy. So I'm like, what? It's it's one day it's Atlanta's not sure if they want to be in winter or if they want to be in the summer because one day it's 70, the next day it's 30. We we don't know. <laughs> well, John, John, who's on with us, used to live in Wisconsin and now he lives in Florida. So he has ah. a warmer way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If this was a smaller group, I would share the new nickname that I have, but trying to maintain a professional air, I, I won't do that. Well, you've already let the cat out the bag, John. You might as well just go just, just go for it at this point. Well, I am not one to miss an opportunity to rub in an advantage that I have to others. Uh -huh. So I have taken on an alter ego that we call him Johnny Palm Tree. <laughs> Johnny Palm Tree is not the easiest guy to get along with. Okay. So we keep him in the closet most of the time. But at appropriate times, he comes out and he really rubs in the fact that it's 30 degrees warmer here today. Right. And I was playing games with the family on the lanai last night. Wow. And yeah. Johnny Palm Tree loves to use the word lanai. Lanai, yes. <laughs> he loves that word. But we're gonna we're gonna send him back to his room. Yeah. It would be inappropriate for such an august group such as this. So so funny. Well, I love that he lives in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Okay, maybe not the best choice of storage <laughs> locations, but yes, that's where we're keeping. So. Well, there you go. Some days you just have to live in the closet. You know, <laughs> hopefully it's a walk-in. <laughs> yes, but um. Is. Yeah, yes, it is. Okay, well, there you go. So we're going to get started. I don't want to belabor the time too much, but hey, listen, Asphalt Life community, we are going to have a fall winter 
spring pool of events and I want you all to be in the know. So I just put in the chat, jump on at, and visit all of our Atlas events. We will be um, at the Strategy um, 2021 conference with um, none other than Jim Johnson himself and the uh, Contractor Coach Pro team. That's going to be happening, launching on December 1st. So if you haven't checked out that event, be sure to get in there and learn. Um, really uh, star caliber event. And John, Jim does an amazing job with that. We're also headed to Florida, where you are, John, um, in Orlando. Um, December 3rd and 4th, we'll be with um, the Roofing Process Conference. Um, there We've got um, really cool social distancing pins made up that we're going to be sponsoring for that event. And we know that everybody's going to be masked up, but it'll be good to be together. You know, numbers are going up. So people just be safe and take your precautions, but make sure, you know, you're taking advantage of these, whether they're virtual trainings or in-person trainings, make sure that you're equipping yourself and your team and training is all what NRCA is all about. So without further ado, I want to transition it over to Amy Saska. She's the VP at NRCA University and John Goodman, who is a subject matter expert on what I hear is all things. So Amy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> with, with yes, Amy, yes. I'll pass it off to you. All right. Thanks, Tiara. Yeah, it's so interesting that we're in this era of social distancing, you know, because what I'm getting ready to show you is a training program that's mostly online. It was not developed because the pandemic was coming. We didn't know about that, but it is, um, it is after all, a nice coincidence. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what TRAC is. It stands for Training for Roof Application Careers. And you guys have a really cool opportunity. Atlas is the first group that we have partnered with such that they actually, Atlas actually is housing this program on their website, on their learning management system. And this is the, the first organization that we're doing that with. So you guys should have um, more ready and easy access to it than almost anybody. Um, so what I'm gonna plan to do for a little bit is talk to you about what is track. And then after I do that, I'm going to show you a little bit of it um, on my screen. And then we're going to turn over to John, who as a former roofing company owner, um, really wants to talk about the advantages of track from a company owner perspective. Because I think that, you know, like I could talk to you all day long about what it is and how it's built and how it works. Um, but that only was going to take us so far. You know, it helps to hear from somebody who really understands the work that you guys do day in and day out and what your, what your workers are dealing with. So um, what is track, and then we'll talk about why you should care, and then we'll throw it back to Tiara. So first of all, what is track? I already said it stands for Training for Roof Application Careers. The target audience for this particular training is novice installers. So we're literally talking about the folks that come into your office, say, I want a job, no, I've never done any roofing, or I used to work for you know, my uncle, you know, just on the side, and now I want an actual job, but I don't, I don't really know much. So that's the target audience. It's not that you can't use it for other people, but that's who we were thinking of when we created it, right? Our aim with the program is what we call conversational competence. So we are not trying to create uh, excellent installers here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get your brand new people competent enough with terminology and exposure to equipment and materials and systems that they can go up onto a job and have an intelligent conversation with a foreman, with other crew members, such that uh, they don't get yelled at for slowing down production, right? We wanna help them be efficient sooner. Um, our overall goal with TRAC is really worker retention. You know, the idea that when somebody new walks in the door um, and you don't just, throw them up onto the job, but you give them some basic information before. So the basic content, um, as we've already mentioned, a lot of it is online. Obviously, I know, and you know, and Johnny Palmtree knows that you're not actually going to be able to train somebody in any kind of proficiency in roofing, even the conversational competence without some exposure to hands-on skills, right? So there are some hands-on skills that are part of it, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. The existing packages that we have for sale already are thermoplastic roofing and asphalt shingles, which presumably you're more interested in tuning into this. 
um, on the Atlas webinar, but if at your company you also do single ply or other commercial systems, we have content for you as well. Uh, later this year, EPDM will be done. And we also, I, I put Foreman here, even though Foreman is not really a track program because track is about installation. And even though a foreman is working in installation, what we're talking about with the foreman is more management skills, but that should be out like within another month or so. Um, and we just really want to let you know that it was coming. Um, also, everything is in English and Spanish. Uh, so when somebody signs up for it, they will, they'll actually have access to both and then they can choose which they want. And then finally, um, we really intend for track to be guided by an NRCA qualified trainer. It's not that an NRCA qualified trainer is necessary, but that those people are equipped a little more. So let me talk for one second about what a qualified trainer is. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because actually John is with us right now because he has left the Zoom meeting where he is currently teaching a qualified trainer conference, which is a two-day conference. And he's left Jared in charge and he's come over here to be with us and talk to you guys. So he might have a, a word or two to say about that. But a qualified trainer is somebody who has successfully completed the qualified trainer conference. And it just really equips them to do these things, to explain NRCA training and certification, to conduct engaging training sessions, to coach installers through installation skills, um, guide folks through online and hands-on training. Because really, even though what I'm, I'm gonna talk to you about online training and it can be self-paced, the truth is if people don't have accountability for doing something, it's not gonna happen, right? I mean, we could create the best tool in the world and you could provide great incentives um, for when somebody finishes. But if there's not actually somebody that's kind of walking through the process with employees that are going through an online training, you know, all of the best intentions just really aren't gonna amount to a whole lot. I mean, I know that I have purchased, I've spent money purchasing online training courses. And if I'm not accountable to somebody for finishing them, they just tend to languish, even though I have great intentions. Um, and then finally, we also equip that person to be the champion for training at their companies. So again, John will talk a little bit more about that. Um, one of the tools that we give our qualified trainers um, are hands-on training plans. And I mentioned this only because they tie specifically to track, to the hands-on skills, and they are not tools that right now anyway, they're not tools that anybody else can get than the qualified trainer. And so I just wanted to show you real briefly what one of these hands-on training plans looks like. Now we tend to shorten that like people do and call them hot peas, which is not a very simple or glamorous title, but it's what we end up calling them anyway. Um, so if John refers later to hot peas, this is what he means. This is just a document that we give to our qualified trainers and it helps them to guide people through the hands-on requirements that are part of track. So for asphalt shingles, I think there are maybe 45 requirements and they're mostly very simple, like driving a nail straight and fixing it if it's not, that kind of thing. Um, but what we've done for these hands-on training plans is we've taken those 45 requirements and kind of chunked them down. And actually John Goodman wrote all of these, chunked them down into 19 or 20 training plans that should take you know, approximately an hour or so. And it would give the trainer this very specific, um, as you can see, I don't know how large of a screen you're looking at, but it, you know, it goes through and it shows people like here's the learning objectives. Here's exactly all of the equipment that you need for this training session. Here's how to prepare for it. So if you're gonna be training on this, you might actually give this to like your warehouse manager or somebody from your office and say, you know, gather me these things, set it up this way. And then you as a trainer can come in and do these things. And we teach this in a method, our talk show do review. So we tell you, this is, this is what you should say in your training session. This is what you should demonstrate have the folks in your training session do this, review it like this, bada bing, bada boom, right? And here's participant instructions also that you can hand out so that they can look at those while they're doing the do part of it, and then also so that they can have it for themselves later on. So again, we only give these right now to qualified trainers. Um, I don't know if it will stay that way forever, but currently, if you go through our qualified trainer conference, you get the hands-on training plans for every system as they're created. Uh, we think that's a, a really valuable tool. So let me go back to track proper right now. 
um, some advantages to you as a contractor of using track. First of all, you only purchase the product once. You buy it once, you get a code and you can use it for all of your employees for years and years, okay? So it's, and it's super cheap. I think as we were working with um, Atlas in particular, we actually lowered the price um, to a price point that they felt was palatable. Um, so it hovers around the like three for 300 bucks, I think, maybe even less. I can't remember because we just lowered the prices recently. Yeah. Get the whole system for that, right? And this is for all of your employees. So it's ridiculously inexpensive. What we want and what Atlas wants is for these new folks to get trained and to stay at your companies. This is you know, fortunately or not, this is not a, not a revenue producer on a grand scale for us. Um, so we just, we just want the goodness to get out there. Um, also, you can track your employee progress. Um, you can use it as individual or collective training. So you can tell people you do this on your own time, we'll incent you, you'll get, you'll get a raise, you'll get a promotion, however you want to do it. Um, but you do it on your own time, or you can have people come into the office, you could do it together. You could set it up on a PowerPoint and have people go through it all as a group. Um, I would suggest if you do that, that you have everybody like follow along on their phones because it is adaptive. So you'll want to have them follow along on their phone so that they're answering the questions and going through the quizzes and exams so that the system tracks that they're actually completing it and they can get a certificate. And then finally, the structure is just a really short bite-sized chunks. So on average, the modules are maybe seven minutes. You know, some of them are three and some of them are 20. But on average, I would say seven to 10. So somebody, if they even just have a short break or just a short period of time could go through just a part of it. And the system will remember later where they are. You'll see when I go to show you on my own, it'll ask if I wanna restart a module or resume where I left off. And so that will happen for you or your employees as well. Um, so I wanna talk briefly before I show it to you about what comprises the package. So if you purchase the asphalt shingles package. This is what you're going to get. On the left, you see a couple of uh, bullet points that we consider the onboarding part of it. And on the right is the system. It's a little bit of a misnomer because I really consider all of track to be an onboarding package. Like I, I would think you would want somebody to go through the whole entire thing before they spend a whole lot of time up on the roof. But regardless, it's, it's a title. So the onboarding is comprised of essentials and the steep slope core. And then the system has these courses, the installation course, the flashings course. Um, there's a document of hands-on requirements that someone would walk through, and then there is an exam. And I'll get a little more into the details of that. But that onboarding piece, if you do other steep slope systems, like once we come out with clay and concrete tile, for instance, if you were to purchase that, the onboarding piece is the same for all the systems. It's just the system itself that would change. So um, let me show you just briefly what it looks like in a static form so that you know what you're looking at when I show it to you for real. Um, so first of all, I mentioned the first onboarding piece is essentials. And these are all the different modules you would find in essentials. And it's just like, okay, this is really the guts of what you would need to know. They take about four hours and it's everything from using a tape measure to you know, how am I gonna get up on the roof anyway? Um, like I said, real basic. Um, and you'll see that it's even developed in a look that's, that's more basic because it's got this sort of cartoon kind of look. So this is Raphael. And then there's a, there's a woman also, um, and they take, they take turns. They, alter, they alternate um, which modules uh, they host, I guess you could say. Um, and then when we move into this, uh, the steep slope core, there's three courses that are part of that, decks and underlayments, flashing concepts, and the prepared employee. Um, and they look a little bit like this. So it's a little more uh, photo oriented, a little more serious, if you will. You know, we're getting into actual roofing here. Um, and it does some things like this. I mean, if we were actually watching it play through, you'd see like these red circles populate. It operates a little bit like a video, but you could see at the bottom there, there's a timeline and a, the, the previous where people can go back and next. So people go through this at a pace that, that they're comfortable going through it, you know, so they can stop and read this more and look at those things if they wish. And then we have slides like this, which is, you know, you can see it says, choose which one to learn about first. And so I can choose these in any order that I want and it will go into greater depth and then it will bring me back to this screen so that ultimately I can choose all four of them. And then again, we get into the asphalt shingles 
specific pieces. And it also has that more uh, photographic look, um, gets into some more specific details. An important point here I wanna point out is that many, many times throughout the whole program, it refers to manufacturer instruction. It, it refers the installers to two places. First, they're foreman. It repeatedly says, we do not expect you to remember this material. We don't expect you to know it. Again, we're actual, we're after conversational competence, not that they remember this diagram or exactly how it works, but that they've seen it. And they can always ask their foreman, ask their foreman, ask their foreman. And then they, they we want them to understand the foreman always is gonna be responding to manufacturer instructions. Um, and then there's a lot of, I put this up here just so that you can see that there's a lot of built in like knowledge checks. And when they answer a knowledge check, they get feedback. So it's very interactive. At the bottom here, I say we estimate the entire package takes approximately 40 hours, but it's completely subjective. It, yeah, I, I think that that's probably the fastest somebody could go through it. And this is including the hands-on. Um, so just, I, I could tell you, but I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how long it takes for all of the online content. I think I wanna say it's probably more like between 20 to 25 hours for that. So it's definitely something they would wanna chunk down. I don't recommend anybody sit down for 20 hours and go through this stuff. That would be, no matter how great it is, that would be mind numbing. Um, so oh, we're not gonna go to why should I care quite yet. <laughs> I am actually going to share with you. So let me end this slideshow. And what I want to share is some of the modules so that you can see a little bit of how they function. Oops, you don't need to see my email. All right, so first I'm gonna show you one of the pieces from Essentials. So remember that's like the 15 modules that are super basic. Um, I'm gonna hop into whole numbers and fractions. So we're, we'll start this at the beginning so you can see how it starts. Welcome to Math and Measuring, Whole Numbers and Fractions. After completing this module, you will be able to distinguish between whole numbers and fractions, demonstrate the need for fractions. So it always it always tells people what they're going to be trying to do. You don't have to be a mathematician to work in roofing, but you do need to know something about numbers and measurements. Here are a few reasons roofing professionals need to understand numbers. Click on each box to turn it over. So we try to build in things like this where people are actually engaging a little bit. How many days he has to finish a job. Um, and also it gives them just, I mean, I know this could sound silly, but it gives them a little bit of agency in terms of exactly how what order they want to do order. things. They don't always, they're not just getting fed the information that we want to a feed them in the order that we want to feed it. Need to know exactly how big the roof is to give the client a quote. A foreman needs to know how many man hours he has. So, but, and it won't give me an opportunity to continue until so I've far, finished that. You might agree these are important, but not really know why it matters to you. After all, you're not the foreman or a salesman or an estimator, but you also will need to understand numbers in your work. Perhaps you'll be told to create a three inch seam, or do you remember when we learned about safety? Lots of safety setups require you to know specific measurements. And you're really going to need to understand fractions too. You probably know what it means if your foreman tells you to move half of the stack of insulation. But fractions can also get a little more complicated than that. It's not hard to learn if you don't know. But go ahead and take this quiz to see whether you've got it down already. So I'm not going to go further into this program, but I, I wanted you just to see the beginning of that because um, there are a couple things. So like that stack of insulation, as you go further into this program, it uses the, the pieces of insulation, which I know is a low slope thing, but, but regardless, you get the idea. It's like, all right, you know, if you were going to take a third of this stack, what would it be? And a person actually would drag, drag the pieces over. Um, so we try to build in activities like that to kind of keep people engaged and keep it relevant to roofing, even though this covers all systems. And then another thing is this. Um, a lot of these essentials pieces figure 
okay, well, it is possible that somebody's walking in the door and I want them to go through essentials, but maybe they have a little bit of experience. So the idea here is in many of these uh, modules, I could take this quiz and if I pass the quiz, it will allow me to bypass the module. So again, the whole module is probably 10 minutes and you know, I would consider it entertaining um, and informational. So I could argue that it's worth going through. But again, that's just a little bit of a pat on the back for somebody to say, they're like, wow, like, you know this already, so you get to skip this. And sometimes those little things just make a difference to people. So I'm going to move down into um, some of the, the steep slope part. So this would be the steep slope core. And I'm going to show you a little piece of that so that you can see how different the look and feel is. Welcome to the final module in the Steep Slope Flashing Concepts program. In the previous modules, you learned about slope and the importance of flashing to prevent leaks. Now, we're going to talk about the different types of flashing and how they're used. After completing this module, you'll be able to site-specific steep slope roof areas most vulnerable to water intrusion and recognize flashings for steep slope roof coverings. So, we've mentioned flashing is extra protection for vulnerable areas on a roof. It's almost like PPE for a roof, right? Think about it. You and your coworkers wear hard hats, safety glasses, gloves, and other equipment to protect your vulnerable areas, right? You don't need to wear as much protective gear as in some other professions, because your entire body is not susceptible to harm as it might be if you were being tackled in a gunfight or being shot at with blazing arrows. Similarly, a water shedding covering is generally adequate for a field of a steep slope roof, but not for the more vulnerable areas. That's where flashing comes in. Right, so again, we could, we could keep going um, with this. We, you know, it's, we think it's a, a really good program in terms of terminology, understanding concepts. Again, we're, you, we're not intending that you're gonna send somebody up onto the roof and start flashing when they're new. But the idea is that like they would understand what's going on. And when they're when they're able to watch other crew members, they'd be like, oh, okay, I get it. Or if a crew member says, you know, this is what we're going to be doing, can you go get me this, that, or the other? That the person would at least be like, okay, I know I've learned about that before. Um, you know, like, and I can be a little bit helpful. So let's jump down into the asphalt shingles. I'm going to restart. Like I said, I could have pressed resume and it would remember where I was. Welcome to the module on penetration flashings. In the previous modules, you learned about slope and the importance of flashing to preventing leaks. Now we're going to talk about penetration flashings and how they are used. After completing this module, you should be able to identify common steep slope penetrations, name the features of a plumbing vent flashing accessory, and describe the process of inserting flashing components into shingle courses. Now I wanted to... Uh... This module will guide you through the terminology and process of flashing penetrations, such as pipes and... Yeah, I wanted to skip around a little more for you, but because I restarted the program instead of resuming it, it's not going to let me um, go through it. What I'm, what I'm bouncing around in right now is the free navigation track, um, and that matters just because when, someone, when you purchase this program, it's not the free navigation version. And so somebody is allowed to choose which course they want to start. So they could do the courses in any order. But once they start the course, they have to go through the modules in order. And you can't just bop around in a module to get to the finish. You actually have to go through the content. Well, so one thing, Amy, just mm -hmm. jumping in there that you mentioned that I love about the program is that if they prove competency in one area, they don't have to do that, right? So if, if they do take the course on flashing, for example, or the quiz, they don't have to do that. Is that correct? So for part of it, that essentials part where we started, mm -hmm. um, that is true. So they can skip ahead and they don't need to go through that. Right. For the other content, um, we assume that, th that whoever is asking them to go through it, like they actually want them to learn that information. So um, you can go through it at a quicker pace because it is sort of self-paced, but sometimes if it's playing, you can't always move that slide bar ahead. 
um, and you would need to go through the majority of the asphalt shingle content specifically, not the, not the essentials. So, so that's pretty much a look at, I mean, I know that was really brief, um, but that's what it looks like in general. You know, and like I said, it, it would probably take somebody to about 20 to 25 hours to get through that online part of stuff. And then the hands-on content, um, depending how well organized it is, like if someone is using those hands-on training plans, 15-ish or so hours or longer. Um, so that sort of comprises the whole package. And Tiara, I don't know, like if people are asking questions, I mean, we're happy to answer questions at any time, but. Yeah, we are tracking questions. So yeah, absolutely. If you all have anything, I've been putting in there, the price clarification um, on the pricing um, is in the chat, as well as um, if you guys have any other additional questions about the program or need to see something else, specific training topics, um, feel free to put that in the chat and we can knock that out. Yeah, but I was, um, I, now I want to just introduce John um, and then, you know, I will stop sharing my screen so that you can actually just see John um, because he's, he's going to be talking and he doesn't have specific slides, but I want to let you know a little bit about who John is because we work together. Um, as we mentioned, John is an NRCA subject matter expert. So at an association, obviously, a, well, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but a lot of us did not come from the roofing industry. So we work on behalf of the roofing industry. And I think I know more than the average bear about roofing just from my tenure at NRCA, but I definitely do not know enough to create programs like this without leaning into people who know everything there is to know. So even though we work with the University Operations Committee of the, um, of the NRCA board, um, and they are gracious with their time, still they are like you guys, right? So they're running companies and they don't have all the time in the world just to sit around and develop training either. So John sort of takes the reins when it comes to scripting these things and helping us figure out the content that goes into it. He is a former roofing company owner, and this is a picture of John at a qualified trainer conference. You know, he's in the middle of one now, which is virtual since we're doing so many things that way now. But I asked John for a picture of himself that I could put in here, and this is what he sent me. So Not true. I just want you to know a little bit about what you're dealing with. Um, when, when you talk to John. So again, he's gonna talk a little bit about why anybody would care um, to do this. I mean, I don't, I don't have to teach you why, tell you why you would care about training people, but John has a, a more relevant experience to you. So you go ahead, John. Well, thank you, Amy. Thank you, Tiara. Thank you, Atlas. Thank you, all you guys that are taking the time out of your day. Um, I think by virtue of the fact that you are logged in and you are, you already care. So I am indeed, this is the perfect example of preaching to the choir um, and really talking to the faithful because you guys are here, you guys and girls and women and men and whoever else may be attending, you guys are demonstrating how much you care because you want to absorb um, good information. So as a roofing owner, um, I care. I still care, surprisingly. I've been out of I've been out of uh, ownership now for about just about three years, and um, my love of the industry just continues to grow. And so, what I want to share with you today is, first of all, I want to encourage everyone out there to go onto the NRC website and find and acquire a copy of the Roofing Industry Report that was commissioned by the NRCA and published in February of this year, February of 2020. That industry report is going to give you a deeper, broader understanding of this great industry we work in. Um, some of the highlights of that, I, I just think are really encouraging. Did you know that according to the University of Arizona study, there are over 50,000 roofing contractors in the United States. That number really impresses me. And did you know there are somewhere between 725,000 to approaching a million roofers in the country? We are an industry of significance and force, and we should hang our heads before no one because we provide the most basic. We provide shelter to our families, our businesses, our schools. We provide shelter. And so we are an industry where people can enter into 
live in and flourish. So I want to just set the stage for that. And for companies like Atlas that are at the tip of the spear of delivering professionalism to you folks out in the field, I just, I get goosebumps when I think about that uh, because it is taking, it is taking us to the next level, which is what I want to talk about today. But to you, whether you are an owner or you're in a leadership team, or you are unrestricted duty <laughs> because you have a work-related injury and they're making you watch videos and webinars, um, any of you, I want to I want to speak to a couple of things. And then really, I know that you folks understand vision. I know that you probably have a vision for your company. But I want to talk about vision when it comes to the biggest problem in the roofing industry. As cited by the roofing industry study, in all 95 pages of that study, it screams out the biggest problem is finding and retaining good people. It shouts it out from cover to cover. And if you read that report, you'll see a couple of things where we've learned that training helps you save money. Okay, that's good. Fewer errors, that's good. Um, fewer callbacks, that's good. Training also makes you money. Wow, it makes me money, how so? Well, you're more productive. So when you have something that costs as little as what we're talking about today, that not only saves you money on one hand and makes money on the other hand, that is, in the technical term of economics, a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer that you need to find a way to avail yourself in because if it creates retention, it lowers costs, it raises profitability, there should be a covid size line at the counter where you purchase this stuff. But enough of the advertisement. Let me move on. When you have a vision for a company and you share that vision, that's an encouraging thing. But a vision not cast properly, not planned out properly, not equipped down at the grassroots level or at the, at the rooftop level, that vision becomes poisonous. It becomes an, a point of derision. Oh yeah, they say one thing, but they really mean another. And so to have a good vision means you have to drive your vision all the way down into the hands of the people that deliver the goods. In this case, you drive it down into human resources, maybe where they do onboarding and they would do the essentials that Amy talked about. You drive it into your trainer's hands if you have a trainer. You equip that trainer to be able to deliver it and you deliver it into the tool belt that, that, um, that tool belt that you strap on to your employees. And that tool belt contains the stuff that Amy just talked about. It contains track. They've availed themselves of track so they are more competent when they go into hands-on training and they are more competent in the most hostile of areas. And that's their first few days up on the roof with a new foreman who is not exactly thrilled to have them. And the group of 20 grizzled veterans that are just looking to chew on their ankles and spit them off the roof. So when you make them more competent, when you make them more comfortable in it, that is driving your vision down to the rooftop level. And so NRCA, along with Atlas, is making to you something of such value at such an incredibly inexpensive price that it's just, it's off the charts as to what's available to you and what it can do for you. Um, you know, 2020 has a year that's got a lot of black marks attached to it, and it will go down in the history books with all these negative things. But I challenge you guys as, as a leadership team in your company, as owners or superintendents or managers or vice presidents, I challenge you, first of all, to read that roofing report. Second of all, purchase track. Did you hear me? Purchase track. It is something with track and then enroll in the qualified trainer because we will teach you 
We will coach you. We will encourage and equip you to wring the most benefit out of the time that you invest in your trainers spending time with your people. Here is one thing that I wish, and I'm going to close with this. I wish that the roofing report would have said this, because if, if I were king of the world, which obviously in my own mind I am, but no one else grants me that right. If I were to write an addendum to that, I would say this. In response to the fact that we can't find good people, I say hogwash. I believe we are finding good people. We just don't know how to recognize that they're good and keep them. And that's where track and hot peas and qualified trainer and essentials and all of these tools will help you, first of all, address your biases about these millennials that are coming in, address your biases of what makes a good worker and allow you to discover that some of those people coming through the door are much better, have much more potential than you actually think. And you become a more attractive company when somebody looks at your company and says, oh, you have training, I'll give you a try. So read the report, buy track, enroll in qualified trainer, and make 2020 the year you took a major step in your company. Think of a fly trapped in the bottle. You ever seen a fly or a bee trapped in a bottle? They obviously got in the bottle. The top is open, but they don't know how to get out. So many roofing contractors are like that fly in the bottle. They're buzzing around, they're circling around, they're beating themselves on the glass and they can see the success of other people out there, but they don't know how to get out. Atlas is calling to you from the top of the bottle. Come this way up here. Come on up here. It's awesome. So Tiara, Tiara is that voice at the top of the bottle. Call to him, Tiara. Call to him. That's right. You got to get signed up. I mean, if you're not inspired by John Goodman, I mean, my goodness. So, you know, there's so much opportunity. And the thing is, just to reiterate what Amy said, you know, you can sign up and actually have access for your entire company. It's not just relegated to the company owner. When you sign up, um, it, that does make it a no brainer. So thank you so much, John, for adding that feedback. So I want to show um, really quickly, I'm going to share my screen. I just want to show you guys a couple of things on the how to, right? You've heard about the program. You've been inspired. We're going to take about five minutes and talk about the how to, how to get logged in, how to sign up. Um, this program is a part of a um, launch that we're making available for on-demand learning. And we call that portal Atlas University. So let me show you a little bit about that. Oh, I think you see my wrong screen. So, it's still doing it wrong. Hold on one second. Share again. There we go. All right. You guys should see my screen. So Atlas University is all about um, training and on-demand learning and giving you all the opportunity to really um, empower your train, empower your contractors, empower as contractors, empower other um, team members, empower your sales team, empower your um, your uh, your your downfall train um, as a part of on-demand learning. And so 
you know, we're super excited to launch the track program as a part of this. And um, as um, John so eloquently said, and, and Amy, you know, you are able to um, access this through our Atlas University portal. And, you know, it's um, about 40 hours. I know we said more than 20 here, but Amy clarified over 40 hours of on-demand content. And that is exactly what you get in this tool. So um, we want to make sure that you guys have access to the training. Um, we are pulling out all the stops, you know, in the words of John, it's a no-brainer, right? Um, and to that point, um, our Atlas Pro Plus contractors silver, gold, diamond, and platinum. If you have a status with Atlas, guess what? You're getting this training today at $199. Um, that is for you, your staff, all of your training. Um, you get to have that for your company um, at the price of $199. If you haven't hit a level with Atlas yet, guess what? It's not much higher. It's only $299 for you to be able to take advantage of that. And so super, super exciting. You know, John, um, and Amy, I don't know about you guys, but you know, you guys significantly marked this down in order to be able to accommodate um, Atlas contractors because we really wanted to make sure that they were um, on the front lines of training and development. Absolutely. In fact, I mean, actually, you pushed us to lower the prices altogether. So, I mean, yeah. NRCA and the the contractor community as a whole kind of has has you, you know, to thank for that. <laughs> well, well, we're so excited that you guys are gracious enough to do that. And once you get, um, you know, uh, for all of you all that are listening, what you'll do is you'll log into your pro portal. You do have to have a free pro portal account with Atlas. So just to take a step back, if you want to sign up for an account and you're wondering how, go to Atlas Roofing forward slash pro here, and then you can just sign up. Super simple. Um, to sign up. We make it super easy. All of our accounts here are free to be able to access. And then once you get into the account, it'll look like this. Um, and so get in here, you'll scroll down to training and support. And um, you'll see under training and support the NRCA button that will open up the page that looks similar to this. And once you're um, signed in here, what you can do is you can see, you'll see the big button here with the button for you to click on to enroll. And you can also click this button here to get enrolled. And you're just gonna hit enroll now. That will take you based on your level to that page where you can check out and add this um, training to your cart. And that's, it's that simple. You'll view your cart, you'll check out, here and once you've checked out, you'll receive an email notification with all your login instructions specifically for you and anyone that's associated to your team. So if you have some multiple sub accounts, um, then they will also receive an email notification with a custom link for them to be able to access the um, portal training in here. And then once they get in there, um, they can see just going to open up the training portal that they'll be able to access. So once they get in here, I'm just going to navigate to the portal branch. The behind the scenes here for you guys. Uh -oh. Um. And I'm just gonna log in as somebody. Once you get into the account, what you'll see here is a courses that look similar like to this. You'll see product courses, Atlas Pro courses, webinars, and there'll be another header here that says certifications, NRCA, track certification. And that's exactly what you'll click on. And as um, Amy said, it's super easy to jump in there. It is, um, they are tracking your progress, all the downloadable forms, the hands-on documents, they're all accessible in the portal for you to be able to access. We also are giving you access for free to all of these 
um, training tools, um, literature, information on your portal, how to navigate through that, so forth and so on. So be sure to take advantage of um, the track training. I think, you know, you guys have done an amazing job. I've spent quite a bit of time, Amy and John, like looking through the course, taking tests on my own, which leads me to my own funny story of, I thought I knew a lot more than I actually did when it was time to take the test. So thank you guys for, <laughs> for helping school all of us on best practices. Really seriously appreciate that. Glad, glad, glad you enjoyed it. We we passed uh, we passed that on to our developers, which are neither John nor I actually do the online um, development, and that's really the part that takes a, a lot of time and work. So our yeah. team appreciated your your affirmation. Awesome. Well, um, if you have any questions, I see. A comment in there saying that um, from Brad saying that it is available in English and Spanish. Absolutely. So you can choose what course. Any other questions about um, track program, how to get enrolled, how to get started? We want you guys to jump in today and get signed up. Phone lines are open now. We have three free lines. We'll take your calls. And if you call in right now, I think Tierra has a signing bonus for you, right? Yeah. Five right. pounds of coffee? <laughs> exactly. No, I'm kidding. I'm not here to represent anything contractually on behalf of Atlas. <laughs> no, but guess what? We do want you to get signed up. Who knows? We, may, we are tracking um, who gets signed up. Um, and now Atlas is the only partner, like uh, Amy said, that has access to the program. So in, in the way that we do. So I'm super excited that um, you guys have trusted us with this and we're, we're excited to get this into the hands of our contractors. So guys, get signed up. If you have any questions, reach out to your sales rep, um, send us an email. Um, we'll make this recording available to you and your teams. Um, within the next 24 hours. And until then, guys, live, roof, play together. Be safe out there. Bye. Click and sign Bye. up.